Looking back on how my life has changed. I always hear of the hardship of living in a refugee camp. But I never thought that one day I'll also end up living in a refugee camp. I'm from a peaceful country. Since I was born, my life was beautiful. Every morning during the week, I will go to school along with my dad. He will be singing for me while driving his car after school. My baby sister will raise her hands and smile. When seeing me, that was the most beautiful part of my days. And my mom will always give me kisses and she will ask me to tell her about my day at school. Life was perfect until one night while sleeping. I heard my dad whispering with my mom, woman crying. I did not know why. As I stood up from my bed, I find my mom packing things like clothes and toiletries as some light foods. I asked my mom why she was packing. She couldn't say anything to me. My dad told me that tomorrow morning your mom and your baby sister need to go to church. There will be a big bus waiting to take us somewhere. Where we will go live for a short period but he never told me why. Around early morning after that night, I heard so much noise from different voices. Men, women, children. I checked on my room window. I see so many people running all over the town. Some houses were on fire, others collapsed, people getting hurt, some died from gunshots. I quickly ran downstairs from my room, calling my mom. Once I opened the kitchen door, I found my mom laying on the floor with her mouth and eyes widely open. I babysitted next to my mom's body, sucking her breast. I started to call my dad for help, searching for him all over the house. Sadly, he was nowhere to be found. I just grabbed my baby sister for the last time. I looked at my mom laying and got close to her body. I managed to close her eyes and her mouth Then I lived with my baby sister. I started to run like others until I succeeded to reach the church where my dad told me about the big bus. When we arrived, I see people fighting to enter the bus. I was afraid to talk to anyone. I carried my baby sister then we entered the bus. The bus drove us for five hours with many stops until we all arrived in a strange place. They asked me, where are your parents? The moment I told them about my story and how I arrived there with my baby sister, the man promised me that both my sister and I were in right hands. When I asked the man to tell me where we are, he told me that we are in a refugee camp. From that day, my life was completely changed. I was not able to go to school again. I started to eat food that was different from the one my mom used to make. My hairstyle was not the same anymore. I felt so lonely. I had no one to share my pain with. I miss my dad's song. I miss my mom kisses and I miss my country too. If anyone out there can hear my voice, I need your help. Please tell them to stop the war. The conflict can get solved peacefully with no fight. Your fight is costing our lives. This fighting is too much. Not just me, we are many children left without parents all because of the conflict. Mothers are crying for losing their children that they carried within nine months plus the labor pain. Family lost their houses that they worked for so many years to build. As one of the child in this refugee camp, I plead to you, please hear my voice. I am one of the victims crying out loud. Let us heal the world. Dialogue is the main key to peace.